Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today, like we said, we're going to do like a recap of the last one and a half years. Uh, because we've had our channel for about that long. Either way, like I said, today we're doing a recap and we're gonna go through our... What is it? Like, five different sections? Um, so we're gonna go through boring, meh, good, very good, and... Yeah. So, and then we're gonna, you know, categorize the things we've done, or at least the things we remember we've done. Let's start with the most boring things in this, uh, world, and, uh... I guess we're gonna take the And they're still interesting, but... Yeah, but they're boring. We're gonna go through why, but... It's the garage. Boring! So, anyways, this is the... Like, this is the garage. We have... We keep lagging things here to... You know, get the lag out of everywhere else. Um, and this place is just plain boring. Um, you know... We have this yeah. machine, we have this machine. There's nothing fun over here. And the Mercedes yeah, the Mercedes and the uh, collector car. Yeah, are... they are also at the boring thing. This is the Mercedes car. We made it for a TikTok. This is the uh, collector car. I mean, it's a bit funnier, but... I mean, it's just collectors on a car. I mean, what's, what's the important or interesting thing about that? Well, it is probably... <laughs> it's a super efficient thing to actually use, but... Uh, <laughs> no. It's, there's nothing special It's about. too laggy. Yeah, and there's nothing special about it. Well, on to the next boring thing, which is, you know, also boring, is our new base. It's, you know, it's a base. And that's about everything it does. Um, yeah, this was also meant to be built to prevent lag, I guess. Yeah, we had a laggy base and then we moved over here to, you know, get rid of the lag and it still lagged, so, you no know, thumbs up for that. Um, you know, there's nothing fun over here. Um, we're planning to have an, a landing pad here for a special flying machine. Um, yeah, I can't. Like, this is just a cross bot. You know, it's a basic base. We have everything we need here. Uh. But yeah, those are basically the boring stuff. So let's go and move on to the meh stuff. So, first on the meh list is... Uh, as you can see, there's no trees here anymore. First on this mail list is, uh, well, this tree cutter. And uh, the reason why we put this here, because, you know, there's nothing... It's a tree cutter. It's, it's, it cuts trees. It's nothing interesting about it, except that it's very, very efficient, actually. Uh, but other yeah. than that, it's, it's, it's just boring. The only difference is that this actually has a purpose. Now, you could say that YouTube City is interesting because we've made a couple of videos here, and right now it's very interesting because of this big network. Yeah. Look, we have a super nice view over here. We can, you know, basically see everything. We have, you know, we can see all the way to the mechanic station over there. Everything. And we have, you know, a green screen. We can, you know, celebrate 246 subscribers. 42, I think. 242. <laughs> Thank you a lot. You didn't see that coming, yeah. right? But yeah, it's it's this is not it's not in that interesting. But sure, some people may find it interesting. I don't. All right, next up is our packaging station system, uh, everything kind of thing. Uh, we have this super fast thing that shoots out like carrots, um, because we need carrots for some things. I can't. Everything's frozen again, on this. And you know the system is pretty awesome. We just place that thing over there, and well, when we want to, you know, suck it up, we just go over here. Look at the vacuum thing. You fly up on this. You can see that it's going to suck up. You saw that? And now that thing should be picked up if you fly back. It's a really boring system, really. Um, but it is quick and it is fast, so that's why it's in the mess section. There's some interesting things in it. You see? Gone. This is next up on the list, you know, as you can see there is no em ember trees here anymore. And that's because we took them all. Um, and I mean, of course, that's interesting because we deleted or like took out all of the ember trees in this forest. But it's not that interesting. <laughs> Alright, next up to the list, a bit more interesting but still not interesting enough to make it to the good list. Basically, 
this thing, it's it's our main farm right now, and it is, <laughs> let me tell you, it's a good farm, it creates a lot of potatoes. Um, the bad thing though is like, you know, it's a farm, it's not that interesting. You know, it's, it's probably one of the most useful things we have in one way, but yeah. still it's not that interesting, it's just, uh, it's a really laggy pa place. I'm not even the host and I have 16 FPS, that's not good. Let's get out of here, yeah. I, I don't lag, like lag. And also that farm is kind of at automatic, just so you know you. We just press a button and it fixes everything. It's pretty nice in that way. Uh, speaking of farms, this is also in the mail list. This is our biggest farm that we are not using and everything is completely frozen. Not anymore. Um, as you can see, it's a lot of plots and we haven't placed every plot we have. Um, but basically this thing is just, uh, <laughs> it's not that interesting because it's not working anymore. Basically, it's so big, going to be so big that this bot can't spawn anymore. Um, but that is a huge system, so, you know, it's gonna take a lot of time. Well, this is the next thing. It's also not too interesting. It's, it's meh. But uh, basically this is an island that we completely took all of the trees off except some of those, you know, white small t trees Like the super small trees and uh, you know, the foliage is not, it's not possible to do that um, But yeah, you know, it's it's nice because we've taken all of the trees, you know, that's an achievement, but eh, Not too nice Um, so let's go to the good list this time. Well, so this is first on the good list, and it's our own base that is now uh, not our base anymore. Uh, it <laughs> it is very big, and it is extremely laggy. Even though you know we've divided it into sections to make it you know less laggy. But basically, we left this place because it was too laggy. It, we would probably still live in it because if we, it wasn't because of the lag. But this base is pretty interesting because it's uh, it's a lot of things in here. You know, we have a chest room in here. We have a sleeping room. This is the storage compartment. This is another storage compartment. And we have a basement underneath the stairs as well. Then up here we have a master switch for, you know, the whole thing. We've got a nice view over here as well. We had a nice crafting system. And of course, nice doors, a landing pad, an oil pond, close to the monorail system. We had everything in this space. So, a quick little historical event or a tale, I guess. We built this monorail here to farm flowers. So we went around, you know, we took flower, 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 flower. And then we did cotton as well. Uh, we started doing that. But, after some runs, we realized the thing, which honestly was a bit revolutionary, but, you know, flowers is kind of useless. Anyways... We realized that we were getting way too much output. Yeah. So, basically, this thing, which has... what is it? I have five vacuum pumps in one spot, vacuumed these uh, flowers. And that duplicates the flowers five times each time, so... Um, just kill this guy. Yeah, you see the flower over there? You can see there to the right how pigment flowers is just popping into my inventory. Um, Axelot, please fix your game. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, fixed it. Boom. So you didn't see my perfect landing. So this is the Rock Shopper 3000. Uh, it's 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 basically a, a thing where you know you lower this thing down on a rock. There's no rock here, but you turn this on, lower it down, and it is it can take down rocks extremely quick. And pair that with the collector car, uh, <laughs> you've got a lot of rock. But this thing, I'm telling you, if you have enough to build this, you should build it. If you're not scared of lag, that is, because this thing is not friendly. So. That is it for the good, let's move on to the very good or very interesting stuff. The least interesting thing on the very interesting category is this restaurant and, uh, you know, a jail that we have out in the sea somewhere. Well, this is a, like a restaurant that Hump has built and it is actually quite nice. It has these nice lamps 
everywhere. These nice tables where you can sit and chat with your friends or something. You know, you have the cook pot over here. You know, get a headache. Or not. In here, we you know, we had water pumps and everything. This place, it, it looks really nice actually. And this is one of the few aesthetic things in this world. And with the restaurant, there's also this glow farm thing. Um, where we put glow bugs, we give them um, cardboard with this automatic feeding system. And they can eat basically until they explode, which they never do. We also included the, the uh, jail in this thing. And this, like yeah, said, this was meant to be like an AFK place. Yeah, so we, when we wanted to AFK, like... So this is a jail where, you know... If I went AFK or something, I could be in here, but still have Hampus in the world. Now on to what I, you know, would prefer as interesting or call interesting. The circuit board farm. You know what? It's in three minutes. I will show you. Um, get all of yeah, and th this is a quad raid. Uh, we actually found like a middle point of the chunks, so we can have four raids at the same time. Uh, yeah, at maximum it will be 32 haybots and 16 tape uh, tote bots. Um, and of course we get the arms from the haybots, that's just a lot of metal. We get the component kits from the haybots, sometimes circuit board, and from the little guys we get circuit boards, you know. We get a lot of things from this farm and I've used this farm so much. Next up is actually what I think is one of our pro proudest moments, and that is this monorail system. It goes all the way from the farm over here, all the way to the base over there, and then all the way to the packaging station. I'm still very proud of this big monorail system, and we had an automatic monorail builder for this, so if you're into monorails, we have a video for you where we actually build like an automatic thing that builds these. I think it's very interesting actually and we can actually, if we go along this thing, we can see what's automated because of the quality. It, you know, the, the, it's actually better quality when the, the automatic machine builds it. And you can see how in the beginning we had smaller monorails, but later on as we got bigger monorails we had to, you know, make bigger turns. So the turn over here for an example. This is actually a small turn because uh, well, it was built with, you know, the oldest and smallest moon rails. So you can actually see if you go to different parts of it, you can see what's automated and what's not, like, automatically built. And you can see different safety levels as well. This one is, I believe it's upgraded. You can see we have that disc over there. Well, so that's it for the very interesting stuff. Now we're moving on to the things that just makes you want to say wow. First up on this list, which only contains two items, is the glue farm. And the reason why we put this here is... <laughs> It's a masterpiece of engineering. It is a bit wobbly as you can see in some of the clips here, but it does work really well. And I mean, this it could be extremely useful. Now, we only kind of demonstrated that it actually works. We haven't really, you know, used it, but uh, you know, if you would continue building it to the point where it's, you know, a large system, it could be extremely using, useful having a glue farm. Unfortunately, you r can't really build this anymore. You can build it out of like uh, work. Where is warehouse keys? Where? Is yeah, because they are indestructible. But you can't weld these death bags anymore. So you can't, you know, build exactly like we built it. Uh, but you can build a version of it, which would probably be a bit smaller as well. But I just find it really amazing that we found a way to use the red bots as. Uh, well, I guess we are abusing them. On to the last thing in this video, which should be one of the most interesting stuff. It's the only one that comp can compete with the glue farm, and that is the uh, ruin farm, or the damaged crate farm. So if you haven't seen the video, we basically built a machine that can, uh, well, farm these uh, like chests that you destroy and you get a lot of items. And the difference between the glue farm and this farm is that we actually use this farm because it is extremely useful, you know, just going to a ruin, pressing a button, and then it takes all of the chests and gives you the items. It's very, very useful. 
So yeah, that is rated number one, and I actually do recommend if you have enough resources, you should build this because it is very useful if you like if you like if you're into like AFK farming. That is. Well, thank you for watching this video, and I guess since you stayed to the end, you might just want to check out some of our other videos where you can see exactly how these things works and a more in-depth like review of them. And again, I would just really like to thank you for 242 subscribers. We we are extremely thankful, and I guess we're just gonna continue uploading these videos for, well, you guys.